or God put it into their hearts to carry out his thought. Hello, thanks very much for joining uh, Bible and Revelations, um, episode 36. This is Revelations 19. I'll get straight to it. Uh, the heat wave is over temporarily. It was over 100 degrees for, I don't know, 10, 11, 12 days. And uh, today was like 92, I think. Uh, it's very nice. It rained a lot. A lot of my plants died in the heat, during the heat wave. Let's go. Revelations 19, which is um, concerning heaven exalts over Babylon. And It, it discusses about what we're going to do in heaven. After these things, I heard what was a loud voice of a great crowd in heaven. They said, Praise Yahweh, you people. The salvation and the glory and the power belong to our God, because His judgments are true and righteous. For he has executed judgment upon the great harlot who corrupted the earth with her fornication. And he has avenged the blood of his slaves at her hand. And right away, for the second time, they said, Praise Yahweh, you people. And the smoke from her goes on ascending forever and ever. They're talking about the... Um, destruction of the great harlot Babylon which is a, uh, a false religion at the end of the end times which we're in right now so I guess they will come to prominence very soon maybe after the, after the rapture and the smoke from her goes on ascending forever and ever And twenty-four elders and the four living creatures fell down and worshipped God, seated upon the throne, and said, Amen. Praise Yah, you people. Also a voice issued forth from the throne and said, Be praising our God, all you, his slaves, who fear him, the small ones and the great. And I heard what was as a voice of a great crowd and as a sound of many waters and as a sound of heavy thunders they said praise Yahweh you people because Yahweh our God the Almighty has begun to rule as King let us rejoice and be overjoyed let us give him the glory because the marriage of the Lamb has arrived, and his wife has prepared herself. Yes, it has been granted to her to be arrayed in bright, clean, fine linen. For the fine linen stands for the righteous acts of the Holy Ones. The bride is the Christian church on earth. That's us. And he tells me, Write Happy are those who in, happy are those invited to the evening meal of the lamb's marriage. Also, he tells me, these are the true sayings of God. At that I fell down before his feet to worship him. But he tells me, be careful, do not do that. All I am is a fellow slave of you and of your brothers who have <clears throat> the work of witnessing to Jesus. Worship God, for the bearing witness to Jesus is what inspires prophesying. So the angel is um, telling John, do not worship me. 
I'm just an angel like I'm just an angel I'm a equal with you a human so don't worship me otherwise um, you're doing evil only worship God and I saw the heaven opened and look a white horse and the one seating seated upon it is called faithful and true and he judges and carries on war in righteousness his eyes are a fiery flame and upon his head are many diadems he has a name written that no one knows but he himself and he is arrayed with an outer garment sprinkled with blood and the name he is called is the word of God also the armies that were in heaven were following him on white horses and they were clothed in white white clean fine linen and out of his mouth there protrudes a sharp long sword that he may strike the nations with it <clears throat> and he will shepherd them with a rod of iron he treads to the winepress of the anger of the wrath of God the Almighty and upon his outer garment even upon his thigh he has a name written King of Kings and Lord of Lords I also saw an angel standing in the Sun and he cried out cried out with a loud voice and said to all the birds that fly in the mid heaven come here be gathered together to the great evening meal of God that you may eat the fleshy parts of kings and the fleshy parts of military commanders and of the fleshy parts of strong men and the fleshy parts of horses and of those seated upon them and the fleshy parts of all of free men as well as of slaves and of small ones and great and I saw the wild beast and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to wage the war with the one that seated on the horse with the one seated on the horse and with his army and the wild beast was caught and along with it the false prophet finally the false prophet that performed in front of it the signs with which it he misled those who received the mark of the wild beasts and those who render worship to its image while still alive they both were hurled into the fiery lake that burns with sulfur but the rest were killed off with the long sword of the one seated on the horse which sword proceeded out of his mouth and all the birds were filled from the fleshy parts of them that's the end of um, Revelation 19 let's see let's read the notes what we will do in heaven when facing a difficult work environment we all revolt against two things one is tedious and meaning meaningless work and the other is idleness one philosopher uh, had says if all if all you wanted to do was destroy a man's soul all you have to do is give his work the element of meaninglessness then uh, you will kill the man's soul but the work in the workplace that await believers in heaven will delight the soul in heaven we will sing the book of Revelation contains more songs than any other book of the Bible except Psalms it contains one uh, 14 songs in all but perhaps the most representative is the one recorded here no doubt many well-known passages in the Psalms that relate to the worship of God will be fulfilled perfectly in those days of eternal bliss in heaven God definitely wants us to sing and dance especially in giving gratitude 
and thanks to him for his blessings. So those religions I hear about that forbid dancing and or singing, uh, they're not listening, they're not reading the Bible. It's just some guy trying to take power that is uh, misleading people. That's ridiculous. We're not made to be sad and solemn and uh, sober continuously. We're supposed to be happy and celebrate work and worship. We will serve in heaven. One prominent theme in the book of Revelations is that of service and reward. Although, as David Greg has observed, our service will be of a different kind. It is work, free from care and to toil and fatigue. Work up there is a matter of self-relief, as well as a matter of obedience to the ruling will of God. It is work according to one's taste and delight and ability. The book of Revelations describes many unique entities in heaven. The 24 elders, the beast around the throne, the 144,000 um, saved uh, Jews, the angels, the multitudes, and each one has a responsibility before God. Just like on earth, each of us has a ministry. We will share in heaven. Heaven will be the ultimate <coughs> experience of fellowship. All of our friends of, in Christ and millions we have never met will be there. Most importantly, the redeemed will enjoy unbroken and joyous fellowship with the Father. <coughs> 